Hi everyone, I'm Ranger Autumn and I'm here to explore with you today the life and work of an amazing woman in conservation. I'm here to talk to you about Elizabeth Putnam. She is the founder of the SCA or the Student Conservation Association. Putnam was raised in Long Island and spent much of her early days exploring the Canadian wilderness where her father had a cabin. This experience really informed her love of nature and her concern with conserving the outdoors. Putnam attended college at Vassar in New York and she took a class that was offered there for the very first time called Conservation of Natural Resources and this served as her gateway into understanding that this could be a field of study as well as a career. During her junior year at Vassar College, Putnam read an article called Let's Close the Parks and it ran in Harper's Magazine and it was suggesting that army personnel be used to block the entrances to some large national parks due to inadequate federal funding. They were becoming very run down and she was trying, they were trying to protect them by suggesting that they be closed. But Putnam felt that there had to be a better way, that there had to be a way to keep the parks open to the public, but fix the issues that they were having. So she was inspired by the Civilian Conservation Corps, which was a public work program um, that helped to provide conservation jobs to young men in the 1930s and 40s. Um, but instead, she was thinking that it might be better to use students um, in this role. Putnam attended a watershed conference and met with national park leaders to propose SCA projects to them. And in 1957, 53 volunteers worked in two different parks, and this became the first SCA projects. 1969 saw the first two all-female high school SCA projects and this was a pretty amazing and groundbreaking thing at a time when this was not seen as work that women should or could do. Um, and she pioneered women in conservation in this way. To this day, Elizabeth Putnam remains as a guiding force on the board of the SCA, and she has received many honors in her lifetime. But in 2010, she was the first conservationist to receive the Citizens Medal, this is the second highest civilian award that one can receive. Elizabeth Putnam was a visionary. She really paved the way for conservation and especially for women and girls in conservation. Uh, even to this day, the SCA provides over 1.5 million work hours in the field of conservation. And if you're interested in how you can get involved with the SCA in your area, go to the SCA.org. Um, thank you for joining me to learn about Elizabeth Putnam.